Welcome Channel Game IQ in today's video. It's time to clean up the streets of Gotham in Gotham Knights. As always, we're going to start off with the latest trailer, have a talk about the details of the game, and then have a chat about the gameplay. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game, and also, what superhero games do you prefer? Is it Spider-Man or Batman? They've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. International news: An explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. You're now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Gotham Knights is an upcoming action role-playing video game. 
based on the DC Comics character Batman and his supporting cast. The game is being developed by WB Game Montreal and will be published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. It's set to be released in 2021 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. It was first revealed at the DC Fandom in August 2020. This will only take a second. The game's story takes place sometime after Batman's apparent death, with the Gotham City Police Department having grown corrupt following Police Commissioner James Gordon's death. There is a rise of crime and lawlessness in the city, leaving Batman's allies Nightwing, Batgirl, Robin and Red Hood as the only ones able to restore justice to Gotham and prevent it from descending into chaos. During the game, the heroes encounter several super villains, including Mr. Freeze and the Court of Owls, a secret criminal society that is as old as Gotham itself and their legion of brainwashed assassins called Talons. Supporting characters include Bruce's former butler, Alfred Pennyworth, and police captain Rene Montea, one of the few honest cops left in the city. We need to stop this, now. Each playable character will have their own unique play style and abilities, such as Robin being able to teleport via the Justice League satellite. While it can be played solo, the game also features a two-player cooperative multiplayer mode, wherein the second player can drop in and out at any time without affecting the other one. Players can level up their characters, but enemies will be automatically leveled up as well. They can also use the bat cycle to explore the city. From my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off, trust me. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. The storm has risen over God. So that brings us to the end of the video. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game. Until the next time, thanks for watching Channel Game Review.